Hello, we're going to use a plugin for WordPress to add links to a web page and when you click the links uh, a YouTube video will open in a light box. We're using this plugin, it's called uh, Lightbox Plus. So, first of all we need to get the code that we're going to use um, for, for the video we want to see. Now you can't use every video on YouTube only if people who made the video have set it so that allow, uh, will allow other people to embed these videos in their web page. So if they've set that setting then you can do it. So you find the video, watch the video you want to use. Underneath you'll see a button that says share. Click the, the button that says share and then you don't want the share this video um, button, you want the one that says embed. So click the, the embed. Uh, button and then copy the code just uh, copy it like that excuse me <coughs> oh pardon me so we've copied the code now in a plain text editor you don't want to use Microsoft Word for this use a plain text editor like notepad but paste the code that you've got and you only want the bit that says HTTP if you have a look there's it says source and then there's some quotes and there's a HTTP I wanted the HTTP part up to the second quote there and you're going to copy that and we're going to use that to um, to open the link so now we need a web page ah first of all we need to change some settings in Lightbox Plus so in your dashboard you need to go to appearance Lightbox Plus and then in, in, there's a thing called base settings, lightbox plus base settings and you just need to click this button that says use secondary lightbox so click that and then click save settings click ok right now we can go to our page, now I've got a page that's half made so now it's just like any other um, link, there's only one different bit that you need to do once you've set those settings in lightbox plus um, there's only one thing that, that that's different so what we'll do we're going to do this in text mode for the for the text link it's easier to do it in text mode so all we need to do is highlight the code or the, the text mode at the top there you've got visual and text mode buttons at the top of your WordPress editor so click text then highlight the code and look for the image button uh, the um, the link button there it's got an underline so link and then you just want to paste that code that we copied from YouTube in there, or the one we, we've just we, we've um, cut the bit that says HTTP from the code we've copied from YouTube. So add that code to your page. And there we are. There's the link. Now to make the link open in a light box, we've just got to add a little bit of code here where it says A H R F. All you need to do. Excuse me again. <coughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me. But it says ahref. In there, we need to type a little bit of code. So, um, click your cursor, and what we need to do, put, we'll put a space, and we need to put class, and then an equals. Nope. <laughs> Spelled that wrong, didn't I? Class equals. Then we want double quotes. And then we we'll go back inside the double quotes, and we want to put L um, B P, then a capital M for modal. So we've got missed the O there. Not doing so well today, are we? Right, we've got in the href, well, we're between A href in our link. We've typed class equals, and then we put double quotes, and inside the double quotes, we put L B P modal with a capital M. So we'll update that and we'll see if it works. So uh, click to view the page <coughs> and then we'll click the link. And there we are, that's the video. Right, now we want to do it with an image link. So we can we can do this in the visual editor with the image link. So just click on the page we're going to put an image in just the same way as you put any other image on your page click add media and then this is the picture we want to use click insert into page and then once you've inserted it in the page we'll just update it just so WordPress don't forget 
Once you've inserted your image in the page, you need to click it and then click Edit Image. Now, when you've clicked that, look at the bottom of the dialog box and it says Link URL. Now, we don't want to use the one that WordPress has put in, we want a different one. So click None and then paste in that code that we got from uh, YouTube. There's just a bit that we cut from YouTube. Click Update <coughs> and update as page again. Oh, pardon me. <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, right, so now we need to add some more settings. So, click the image again. Click Edit Image again. And we want to go to Advanced Settings. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. And then, look for this Advanced Link Settings. We've got Advanced Image Settings and Advanced Link Settings. So in Advanced Link Settings, click this CSS class. And there, we just need to put the uh, LBP model capital M. So we've typed in there class LBP model. We don't need to put the uh, the quote marks or anything else in this one. WordPress is going to do it for us. So click update and then update our page and we can view the page to see if it works. So we had a video picture didn't we? Click that and there's our YouTube uh, video right now it gets a bit confusing so what i've done i've made this um this script for you to read through if you, if, you, if you get stuck just stop the video when you get to this script and slowly read through and try and find the bit that's uh, that's confused you because it this is easy to do but it does look complicated at first so um it just as, as you get to the next bit just click and let the video go on so you can see the next the next bit of instructions and then uh, I'll scroll down a bit more. There we go. And there's just a little bit more instructions to go through. Just just read through, um, and it should tell you anything that you've got stuck with. Actually, probably the easiest bit where it might be to actually watch the video again. Um, but there's all the instructions you need here and that's the end of the instructions and that's that well thanks for watching I do hope you like using um, Lightbox Plus because it's a good plugin um, and it can add loads of fancy effects to your website thanks for watching and bye for now